Hello guys, welcome to study algorithms and today we would be looking at determining if two strings or phrases are valid anagrams. First, I would explain you what are anagrams and some different types of test cases. Next, we would find a guaranteed solution to the problem. We will then look at an optimized approach followed by the try run of a code. So, let us dive into the problem. To start off, we must first understand the problem statement. The problem talks about anagrams. So, what is an anagram? Two strings are simply said to be anagrams of each other if one of them can be jumbled up or shuffled up in a way and converted into the second string. Let us take up a few examples. So, in our first example, example number one, we have the word listen. Now, the characters of this word can be shuffled up to translate it into the word silent. And hence, this is an anagram. It is not necessary that an anagram should be a word. You can also have a phrase. We can see this in example number two. Our first phrase is a decimal point and our second phrase is I'm a dot in place. If you see, both these strings have the same characters throughout. And hence, this is also an anagram. If you see our third example, anagram and narragram, you would see that the letter R is occurring extra. And hence, this is not a pair of valid anagrams. Do note that just by saying that the characters of two strings or phrases are same, it won't be characterized as an anagram. Let me see the last and the final example. So both of these strings have the words M, I, P and S. But the frequency of these characters is different in both of them. And hence, this is not a valid anagram. This is a very common question that is asked in a lot of interviews. So, as a good developer, you should always try to come up with a solution that is at least guaranteed to give you the correct answer. The brute force method to solve this problem can be extracted from a keyword. We know that anagrams are shuffled. When you think about shuffling, you can think about sorting. So, if we try to sort both the strings that we have, then maybe we can determine if these strings are anagrams or not. Let us take up two examples. So example number one has two words, dormitory and dirty room. What happens when I sort both of them? We got the string that is same in both of the cases. But we knew that these were anagrams. Let us take up the, another example that is single and, and mingle. You know that these strings are not anagrams because a character is different. What happens when I sort them? Thus, you see that if the words were not anagram, the resultant output was different. So, as a brute force solution, what we can do is we can just sort both of the strings and then see if the result is same. If the result is same, then it's a valid anagram and if the result is different, it is not a valid anagram. But the problem with this solution is that the fastest sorting algorithm that we know is quicksort. And even quicksort runs in the time of order of n log n. Now this algorithm is fast, but in cases where you have tremendous huge strings to compare, then even order of n log n would result in slowness. And so we need to find a better approach to solve this. In our previous method, we were sorting the strings and hence adding additional time complexities to our solution. But do we really need to sort? Can we just try to find the solution in just one pass or just two passes of the string? One way to solve this problem would be to create a bucket array. Now this bucket array can, would consist of all of the characters and their frequencies. What we can do is we can scan our first string and increment the frequency of each of the characters in this bucket. Let us see what happens when I try to increment these frequencies with my first word that is dormitory. So I get at D and then I would increment the frequency over here to 1. Going over to O, I add 1. Going over to R, I'm adding 1. Then M, I add 1. Then I, I add 1. Then T, I add 1. O, I again add 1. R, I would add 1, and then Y, I add 1. Now this bucket array has the frequency of all of the characters that I have in my first string. Now let us move over to our second string. But this time, instead of increasing the frequency, we would decrement it. 
what would happen then? I go over to D and I do a minus 1, then I minus 1, R minus 1, T minus 1, Y minus 1, R minus 1, O minus 1, O minus 1, and M minus 1. And now, if you take a look, each character has its own bucket. And you know that each of the character is occurring how many times in both of the string. So if you try to add all of these buckets and see the sum of each of them, you would see that it comes out to be zero in all of these cases. And hence, these two strings are anagram. You would ask how this method works when these strings are not anagrams. Let us say you had another character over here as x. Now, when you would be doing the first iteration of the first string, I would have an additional plus one in x over here. When you calculate the sums of all of the buckets, you would see that you would still have a pending sum of one in my final bucket. And hence, this would not be an anagram. The time complexity of this algorithm would be order of n, and the space complexity of it would be order of one, since we are assuming only the English alphabet. Let us try to do a dry run of this code and see how this works. We start off by converting both of the strings to lowercase. This would ensure that we are ignoring the case match while comparing both the anagrams. Next, we remove all the white spaces from both of the strings. Then we initialize a bucket array with the initial count set to zero for all the characters. We start off by traversing the first string one by one. To get the index value of each of the character in the array, what we do is we subtract the ASCII value of small a from the present character. This would mean that the character D minus character A would give you something like three. So we start filling in the buckets. For character D, I add the value plus one. Then for O, I get plus one. Then R, I get plus one, M plus one, and so on. Moving forward, the next step would be to empty the buckets. To empty the buckets, I would be looking at my second string. Now this second string, we follow the same procedure again to get the ASCII value and hence the index. So we would be starting again by D and hence minus one, I minus one, R minus one, and so on. Once we are done with this, we run one final loop to check the counts of each of the bucket. If any of the bucket has a count that is not zero, then we would be returning false because the string is not an anagram. If all the counts are zero, as in this case, this string is an anagram and hence we return true. No matter how small a problem may seem, you must always try to find a solution that takes the minimum amount of time and computation. We used a bucket array cleverly in this case and solved the problem in just one iteration of both the strings. You can find the link to the problem in the description below and please feel free to comment below in case of any doubts. Thank you.